Hi everyone, Dave here. It's been a while since uh, since I last uh, posted a video with any uh, fur. <coughs> Excuse me. It's been a slow start, like every other year. <coughs> but uh, as uh, as the days go on, slowly getting more gear out and whatnot. Um, in the area here, I got a dirt hole set, but uh, this this area is is awesome for fox and coyote. As you can see, great country and terrain. And I got a coyote steer down there at the bottom of the bank. Nice little natural lead. Anyway, um, yeah, it's been a slow start. Three coyotes and. Uh, Two red fox. I, I don't have any conibears out or anything like that. Just some fresh scat. <laughs> anyway, it's it's tough this time of the year because of the local outfitters and stuff. They have so many animals that are killed. And they're, they're bait piles. I, I just can't compete with them. So until they uh, until they slow down with the activity, then unfortunately they're not going to be coming around to my gear. Although the last two nights. Two nights ago it was stormy, but uh, they were actually on the move, and I had uh, four four snares that were brushed that were just missed them, and uh, you know it's, uh, it's it's frustrating when you you know gas is expensive these days, so with the warm temperatures you want to be checking your gear on a regular basis. That's the dirt hole set I got right there. Uh, there's coyote and fox droppings there, and it's a spot where they, you know, there's old stuff there, so I know they're using it. So I've got some fox and coyote urine uh, put in uh, next to the set. So, as you can see, it's a nice area. They're, they're, they're here all the time. Scat all over the place, but again, with local outfitters that they've got mountains of bait scraps left over from you know all the moose that are killed it's uh, it's difficult to you know see the lake way off in the horizon well about a half a mile that way uh, you know there's a huge bait pile so you know the animals aren't going to be using where I'm baiting here until that's uh, until it's harder to access when we get some snow and stuff but anyway I uh, I've got about maybe two more dozen uh, snares to check and um, I'm hoping to get out some more uh, dirt hole sets or some some maybe some cubby uh, sets some houses uh, um, I'm just finding the the coyotes this year along with the foxes they're they're going around all my gear they're just not going through the leads so they're uh, obviously I guess they're breeders so they're not gonna they're not gonna fall into one of my snares so I may have to catch them off guard with a leg hold so but anyway uh i'll uh, get this out to you guys hopefully uh today and uh if i get anything later on today i'll uh i'll gladly show you guys anyway thanks for watching hi everyone that's uh, dave here i'm uh it's november the 13th today I haven't had much footage uh, because I just haven't been catching a whole lot. Um, it's been a slow start to this year, probably the slowest for me. Um, on the other hand, uh, my father's trap line, uh, he's hes on about par doing average uh, between the two of us. Um, five coyotes, three red fox, a mink and a beaver. And I think he may have had another mink this morning, so maybe two mink. Um, but uh, yeah, I've only had the one that one small coyote on my line, and uh, I've got about 75% of my gear out, and uh, I'm just you know, I'm puzzled by the fact that you know because I'm seeing signs, seeing tracks, and seeing evidence that they're around. They're just not going into the gear. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they're they're you know they're avoiding them on purpose or, or what. I've got lots of bait out. I've, uh, most of my sets, uh, I don't have big piles of bait. Uh, just got tossed off, you know, within the vicinity of my snares. But uh, 
it's uh, you know it's it's I'm surprised that it's been such a slow start for me. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get some more footage out for you guys uh, with some some sets and some animals. But uh, it's just been a really slow start this year for me. So and uh, I'll just go by a few sets that I have here now. I've already checked them today, but anyway, it's uh, it's frustrating that uh, you know I, I can't. Uh, can't seem to catch as many as what I normally would so but in the meantime I'll uh, keep you guys posted and hopefully uh, have some better luck uh, before we get too much snow so anyways uh, good luck to all you other fellow trappers out there and uh, stay safe out there thanks for watching Welcome back, Dave here. As you can see, uh, on my father's line, he's doing a lot better than I am this year. Uh, I don't know why, I guess experienced trappers always do better. But anyway, uh, three red foxes, two females, one male. Coyote caught this morning, average size. And uh, female mink was caught. Uh, yesterday and a um, couple more coyotes there that's the silver that I caught last year uh, I gotta send it away to get it uh, to get it tan I'm gonna be hanging it up in my cabin it's a uh, big large male that I caught last year and I'm gonna get that sent away that's the only skin of fur I've caught this year and uh, a little runt and uh, like I said earlier um, I'm not having much luck on my trap line this year, but uh, my father's making up for it, I guess, with his uh, on his line. So, a few skins of fur. I don't have any footage because, like I say, uh, I'm not I'm not catching any animals. Uh, it's on his line, unfortunately, and I, I don't uh, I don't go out on his line. Uh, um, so he's got access by uh, he gets uh, out on, on the ATV. It's the only way to get out on his trap line. So I don't get out, so that's why I haven't had any footage of uh, any catches uh, besides a little lump coyote. Anyway, got a few uh, 220s, 280s there that are uh, going to be set out. I uh, just recently got the phone. Um, a uh, beaver trap line had come up nearby my area. Just got off the phone like 10 minutes ago, so um, it's not far from where I live. And uh, there are a number of beavers there. And uh, so uh, he asked if, if I was willing to take the trap line. And I said, most definitely, because there is, here on the island, there's a waiting list for most uh, most trap lines for beavers. So I'm going to be uh, later on, uh, once uh, once we get freeze up and we get a bit of ice on the ponds, so I'm going to be. Uh, I'm going to be setting out on, on my on my own beaver trap line, so uh, I'll have some footage for you later on uh, this winter. But uh, in the meantime, uh, stay tuned. Hopefully I'll have some better luck on my trap line. And, uh, and again, uh, get uh, get some animals caught. I know they're out there, so like I say, it's, uh, patience is a virtue when it comes to uh, any trapper out there that knows. Thanks for watching.